Well, I got good news. I am going to be able to continue with my vacation. We got the RV working again. It's not working entirely. We'll call it limp mode currently, but I want to thank Lorenzo at Highlands RV. A lot of folks out there recommended him. He's a local here. He, he came right by, arranged to look at the trailer and did find out that in fact, it was a uh, sever or broken brake uh, power cable that uh, was the source of the problem. At least the problem where I couldn't connect my trailer and get the brakes. I was wondering why I was getting half the braking power and getting a disconnect uh, notice on my dashboard from the trailer when I was trying to use the brakes. Uh, so it makes sense. The, the Ford was telling me that your brakes are not right on your trailer. So as soon as he fixed that, he also found another um, portion of the cable that at the factory level was uh, left exposed when they were cutting back the sheath. So he fixed that up as well. And then we looked at the charging system. Uh, he did test the dead uh, Go Power solar charger Mo uh, monitor and it was getting power so we think the display is just dead on that i'm not too worried about that because i can see it on my phone i know it's functioning properly i've looked at the blink codes on this controller that's good um the the go power battery monitor seems to be monitoring the battery properly and there is power in the batteries so i'm guessing the solar panels are in fact charging the battery over time and keeping it charged but yes, the master volt is still not sending power to the battery that I could see. Um, we did theorize that if the batteries are full, the master volt's not really gonna try to send power. But the other problem is that whenever the, the master volt gets turned on, the inverter just keeps flipping on and off on its own. And each time it flips off, like the whole 12 volt system restarts. So I've disabled the best I could, the master volt for now. We're gonna travel, uh, continue to try to uh, break out at least a week's worth of vacation still using the trailer as is. Uh, again, I'm gonna be using some portable battery cells and a, and a cooler to, uh, that I have, a, a powered cooler to keep things frozen and cool. Um, you know, redundant systems is important when you're RVing and we have redundancies. So we're gonna continue to RV and uh, we're, we may change our plans and not go north to the Yukon this time. Uh, there's some rain that came up up there by Stewart, so we may head east. We really don't know, but that's the whole idea behind RVing, is we don't have to know. All we need to know is we need to get on the road, and my generator will provide proper power to the trailer whenever we stop. So uh, unless I'm plugged into a pole, we have the generator, and, uh, you know, RVing half-ass is better than not RVing at all. So we'll be heading out soon. I've got a few days of work ahead of me still. I was going to work remotely. Now I have to work at home, uh, which, and then I'm going to head out uh, in, in a few days. Uh, we're going to hit the road again. I'm testing a few more things in the RV to make sure it's, it's operating properly, but it seems to be working great. Again, a big thanks to Highland and Lorenzo. I'm gonna put his information in the link below to his Facebook page. I highly recommend if you're in the lower mainland and you have a problem, give Lorenzo a call. I had multiple people suggest that I go with him and it was really worth it. He's really fast. I have a feeling Lorenzo and I are gonna be talking a lot over the next year. Thanks again, everybody, for your help. I'm gonna go try to get some RVing done. See you later.